Do subscribe to Filter Copy and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Hello and welcome to this edition of Filter Copy. I am T.S. Sudhir. If there is one politician who has hogged the limelight in the last 10 days or so, it has to be K.R. Ramesh Kumar, the Speaker of the Karnataka Legislative Assembly till this afternoon. In fact, soon after Chief Minister B.S. Yadrapa proved his majority on the floor of the House inside the Karnataka Vidhan Sauda, K.R. Ramesh Kumar resigned as the Speaker of the Assembly and flew into Hyderabad to attend the funeral of his guru and mentor S.J. Paul Reddy. In fact, he said that he had resigned as a tribute to J. Paul Reddy. But the facts are a little otherwise because K.R. Ramesh Kumar would have realized that the BJP, now that it is in power, would like its own man or woman, its own MLA, to be the Speaker of the Karnataka Assembly. And he did not want to go through the motions of a no-confidence motion being moved against him in the chair. Number two, the rebels MLA's, rebel MLA's disqualification that he had ruled is now before the Supreme Court. And if the Apex Court rules against what K.R. Ramesh Kumar had said, it would make his position untenable. So K.R. Ramesh Kumar obviously did not want to work under a cloud and decided to walk away as soon as Yadrapa had proved his majority on the floor of the house. Now, why is that entire decision by K.R. Ramesh Kumar a little controversial? One, in one stroke, very remarkably, he had actually made all three parties quite happy. Even though the BJP had protested against his decision, it actually makes made the path of Yadrapa to prove his majority easy because it brought down the strength of the house to 208 and the BJP 105 MLAs of its own was in a clear simple majority. It also made Siddhara Mayan HD Kumar Swami happy because they saw this as revenge against the MLAs because they had pleaded with them to come back home to do a karvapsi, but none of those rebel MLAs, most of them hold up in that hotel in Mumbai, were willing to heed to what the Congress and the JDS leadership was having to say. Number three, now that what happened in Tamil Nadu was the 18 MLAs who were owing allegiance to TT Vidinakaran had resigned, but they were not, dis they were disqualified, but they were not disqualified till the end of the term of the Tamil Nadu Assembly, which is till 2021. But in Karnataka's case, what Ramesh Kumar has done is that he has disqualified them through the term of this entire Karnataka Assembly, which extends till May 2023, which means that none of the 17 MLAs can be MLAs again, can recontest for by-elections till this entire term of the Karnataka Assembly runs out in May 2023. Obviously, none of them would want their political careers to be jeopardized like that. They've all gone to the Supreme Court and the matter is before the Apex Court and that will rule. And if it takes Tamil Nadu as a precedent, it is quite likely that Ramesh Kumar's ruling will be struck down, which will mean that most of these MLAs will, be, will manage to come back to the Assembly if they win the by-elections. And even before they actually contest for by-elections, they will want to put pressure on B.S. Yadrapa to somehow accommodate them inside the cabinet. But for now, what Yadrapa can do is to take all his BJP colleagues and give them the plum portfolios without having any headache from the rebel side that they want to be accommodated as well in the cabinet and ask for plum portfolios or the deputy chief minister's position. So that's the position as far as Karnataka politics is concerned at this point in time. K.R. Ramesh Kumar, who incidentally is a television actor, has acted in many serials in which he normally plays the role of a politician. But one thing is sure that the kind of TRPs that his conduct, his showing in the chair of the Karnataka Assembly has garnered in the last one week or so, he would not have got that for any of his Kannada TV serials. That's it then on this edition of Filter Copy. Thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe to Filter Copy. Thank you.